Hi everybody, it's Dr. Lori. This is Ask Dr. Lori. We're taping this live. Everything's unscripted. I don't know what object my guests are gonna show me. I'm doing the appraisals. I'm teaching you what to look for, how to sell for top dollar. Here's my first guest. Hi, Dr. Lori. Hi, how are you? What's your name? My name is Kim and I'm from Phoenix, Arizona. Hi, Kim, how's it going? It's going great. Good, good. What's happening? What have you got for me? I have this, I think it is amber etched to clear. It's about yes. 11 inches tall and about four inches in diameter or three mm -hmm. inches in diameter. Mm -hmm. It has some interesting etching. I'm not sure what that is. Looks like a building or a chair. I'm not sure. That looks more like a building to me. That looks like a landscape. You know, you see the landscape and then the, yeah. and then actually something that looks like a structure. It's nice. And the bird over here. Nicely done. That is what you look for. So when you're trying to figure out what to look for, you want to look for the intricacy of the etching when you cut to clear. So it's amber glass cut to clear. Looks like it has a bulbous round bottom, right? Yeah. Oh, no, it's not bulbous. It's actually flat on the bottom. Okay. Yeah. So how'd you acquire it? Where'd you get it? I bought it on an online estate sale. Uh, you know, was it really cheap? Really cheap? Uh, there were five items in this the, the grouping that I bought. This was one. I paid $3.33 for all five, so it was 66 cents. <laughs> well, 66 cents is very good, right? So, And they just described it as a glass vase, right? Yeah. So, all right. So it's mid 20th century. It's made in Europe. It's valued about $50. Oh, great. Okay. Pretty good. Will you answer my question of the day? Yes. Your favorite fair food, funnel cakes or cotton candy? Cotton candy. Okay. Nice to see you, Kim. <laughs> nice to see you. Thank nice you. Nice going for 66, <laughs> 69 cents. That's amazing. 60 cents, but it's out there. And that's what I want you to all understand. It's out there. Don't think that everything, oh, somebody priced it really high. I can't get it for a bargain. You can find the bargain. I am showing you how. Use the binge link. That's what you need to do. The binge link is found at drlorev.com on the specials and shopping page. It's easy to find. Go to the top of the specials and shopping page. Just scroll down. You'll find all kinds of great things at the specials and shopping page. That's why it's called the specials and shopping page because it's special, you know, and you can shop there. Anyway, I'm Dr. Lori. Here's my next guest. Hi, hey, Dr. How you Lori. Doing? Hi, good. Thanks. How are you? Well, you remind me, I, you look familiar to me, and I think that you are in a better lit situation than you were the last time we spoke. Is that right? I don't think we've actually spoke before, but maybe really? there's a, maybe I'm a lookalike somewhere else. <laughs> oh my gosh, so I'm sorry. Well, you have a, what are they called, a doppelganger? You have a lookalike yeah. somewhere. <laughs> and he had a terrible camera, but you have a good camera. What's your oh, name, good. sweetheart? My name is Daniel. I live in Derry, New Hampshire. About Hi, an Daniel. hour north of Boston. Hi, Daniel. No, we have not spoken before. Because yeah. this person was, I think, in Florida. Anyway, he's not important. Uh, You're important. So <laughs> tell me what's happening up there and north of Boston. And you don't have the Boston ah. You no, know, I, I grew up outside DC. Oh, okay. I have the yeah, Connecticut so ah, like yeah. all the, I have that, but you don't have that. Okay, anyway, nice to see you. What's going Likewise. on? What have you got? So I have this painting that I inherited from my grandfather, who was an art collector. Um but tilt, I the, tilt, yeah. tilt the top of the painting down toward the floor. Stop. You follow directions very well, Daniel. What do you do for a living? Following directions. It's so nice. I'm a scientist. <laughs> what are you? I'm a scientist. There it is. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Anyway, that's very good. So is it signed? Uh, yes, it is. It looks like it's signed Viegas. Um, oh, I can get oh, that. That's wonderful. Okay. All right. A couple of different things. So your, your grandfather was a good art collector. He knew what he was doing. Beautiful abstract work. Now people are going, my kindergartner could do that. No, they couldn't. Yeah. <laughs> you know, that's a beautiful piece. Uh, is it 20 by 24? Is it 30 by 36? It's, it's about like 18 and a half by 24. Okay. Can I see the back? Sure. I strip think it's like frames, in, in, these small in, strip frames are very typical. That notice that very, very thin strip frame of the wood. That's very typical. Yeah. What were you saying, Daniel? I stepped on your um, words. It, no worries. I think it seems to me like sort of like a mixed technique, like encaustic, maybe. 
with something it's, else perhaps. Yeah, it's, it's mixed media, definitely. Mm -hmm. And you can tell that not only from the back, but you can tell that from the way in which the pigment on the front will dry. Some mm -hmm. of it will be shiny, some of it will yeah. be matte. A little That's translucent, wonderful. yeah. Value on that piece, $3,500, $4,000. Hang it oh, on wow. the wall, enjoy it. And it, it will increase in value as you get older. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. That's I cool. like it. Nice Thank to see you. Thank you so much. Thank don't you. Be afraid, don't be afraid of modern and contemporary art. It can be worth a lot and very beautiful. Nice to meet you. Likewise, Dr. Oh, Lauren. I got a Thank question you. of the day. I forgot. Oh, okay. Yes. Funnel cakes, cotton candy, which? Probably funnel cake. Funnel cake. Okay. <laughs> Well, you can afford the carbohydrates and the sugar. Oh, yeah. Good luck. <laughs> Thank See you so you, much. That Bye. was fun. That was fun. Beautiful pieces. And people are going, oh, my gosh, I don't know. As you look more at contemporary art, as you look more at abstraction or non-objective pieces, you're going to start to like them. The color, the form, the mixed media element. That was nice. Strip frames are something to look for, too. It will usually help you to identify age. That piece dated to the middle part of the 20th century. I'm giving you tips so you can succeed. So you can learn what to look for at the thrift store, the yard sale, the Goodwill, wherever it might be. Don't forget to subscribe to my newsletter. Guess where more tips are? In the newsletter at drlaurieV.com. It's under the free thumbs up uh, menu item. And here's my next guest. Hi, how are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. What's your name? My name is Makara. Hi, Makara. That's a pretty name. Thank you. What does it mean? Is it like a mixture of names? So the story is that my mom was trying to tell my dad to go out to the car to get her list of names. Uh -huh. And she said, Makara. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> That's cool. It's That's a good better than she's gonna name me Barkley Lane. Uh huh. So I'm I'm happy with Makara. I like Makara a lot. I was gonna be Lisa, and then my mother allowed my father to name me because I'm the youngest, and my father came up with Lori. So I don't know. I'm happy. <laughs> Lisa's nice, but I'm happy. You, I can see you as a Lisa in a way. Yeah, I, I think, think so. That that works for you. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. Makara, you're a sweetie pie. Show me this lamp. How'd you acquire this lamp? Can we pick it up it. a little bit or back up the camera yeah. so we can see all of it? Be careful, two hands. Oh, look at that. Isn't that cool? That's cool. So I got it at an online auction. Okay. You don't have to turn it if you don't want to, just be careful. Right. And if you yeah. want to put it down, that's fine too. So you got it at an online auction. It's hand painted glass. You'll notice the image of the rabbit and the other woodland animals. It has a very nice globe too. Does it have the wick? Um, there we go. So it has a hurricane. That's the, of course, the glass that you just picked, took off is the globe. And then you've got the hur the shade, and then there's the hurricane. And then if you turn the little knob, a little, a little wick will come up that you would light. It doesn't matter if you have it or not. Oh, it's been electrified. Oh, thank you for the hand. <laughs> Somebody came in to move the thing. Thank you, honey. So that, um, it's been electrified, right? Yes. Okay, that's fine. That's very, very common. How much did you pay at the online okay. auction? One ten. A hundred and ten dollars? Yes. Really? You I paid that. It. You paid that I much. Like you really wanted it. I really did. It was pink and it was pink color. Color. Any of you who are trying to do reseller understand what color can do. Color can really make you find collectors who are going to pay a lot more money than they probably should based on color. Color is king. Okay, so the pink was cool. Did you like the bunny rabbits or are they kind of weird? They're a little bit weird, but I like That's weird fun. things. So yeah. I like them. All right, I like them too. Okay. Um, time period. So of course, early 20th century. I like the globe. I think the globe is a later edition. Um, on the little knob, what to look for. On the little knob, there might be a star or there might be some other, that little brown knob right there. Is there a name on that knob, like B and H? Um, there's an F. There's an F, okay. So F is actually for the, the manufacturer that makes the, that, that actual metal portion, okay? okay? So, and we've talked about that on other videos. So I've done that, I've talked about those specific things on other videos, that's good. So that's like every, every single one of those lamps is made by that same manufacturer. All right, value on that piece, probably $210, $215. So you paid half. Okay. I'd like you to pay like 10%, but if you like it, it will increase in value, but slowly. Okay. So enjoy it now, Makara. Thank you. Thank you and so much. And tell me, what's your favorite fair food? Uh, funnel cakes. 
So you're a young collector, huh? Do you only collect lamps or do you just look online and shop and see what you like? Um, I look online. I see what I like. I've just opened up an antique booth, but this is, this is staying with me. <laughs> Great. I'm happy for you. I hope the channel is helpful. It has. It has been. Great. I'm glad to hear that. Don't forget to share it. That would help me. I will. Absolutely. Thank you, Cara. And thank, thank you. you all. And thanks to all of you for sharing the channel. I can't do more videos if you don't share the channel and you really need to share it. So thank you for sharing it. Family, friends, on your social media, when you're out thrifting, yard selling, tell people about it. I'm going to help you all learn and, of course, to find those bargains and how to sell for top dollar. Hi, it's Dr. Lori, the PhD Antiques Appraiser. How are you? What are you drinking, LSU? Uh, what are you drinking? <laughs> orange juice. That's good for you, huh? That is, my, orange juice. that is my favorite drink. <laughs> it is. It's very Good. sugary, I know, but I love orange juice. No pulp. No pulp. No, I don't like pulp either. <laughs> I don't like pulp, yeah. But I like um, orange juice. As a swimmer, we had to drink a lot of orange juice. What's your name, hon? Nico in Tampa. Hi, Nico. So what have you got? It looks like you've got a hand-hammered brass tray of some sort. Right. Uh, my father's from Venezuela, oh. and um, this came over with him okay. um, probably 60, 70 years ago. All right. Can we get a little closer to it? Of course. Is there an image, like, you know, embossed into it or, or a relief image of it? Um, mm. Does that help? Oh, that helps a lot. I like it much better. Okay. All right. How big is it in diameter? Is it two feet in diameter, 24 inches? Oh, it's almost three feet. Almost three feet. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, does yours hang on the wall? Yes, it does. All right. Um, um, I can show you the back. Okay. Has your family had it since before World War II? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes, I would love to see the back if you don't mind, Nico. Of course. Orange juice. Oh, you're making me thirsty, Nico. Oh. All right. Why I'm saying oh is because this particular piece is trying to look like a piece that dates all the way back into the Spanish colonial period. Okay. So it's trying to look like a piece that dates between the 1750s and the 1850s or so. Now, this piece was, cat. basically, this piece was cast, right? This piece was made probably sometime in the 1920s or 1930s. It's large. It's decorative. They are revived in the 1960s, but yours is not that. Yours is earlier than that. And I would say value on yours is about $500 in the condition it's in. Oh, wow. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. Based on actual sales records where similar pieces have sold, not just when somebody, you know, decides to type some number in when they list it, but what it's right. sold for. So that's nice. It will increase in value as time goes on. And of course, family heirlooms, if you can keep them in the family and afford to keep them in the family, it's always a good idea to hand them down. Thank you so much. You're welcome, Nico. Hey, your favorite fair foo, funnel cakes or cotton candy? Funnel cakes or? F cotton candy. Oh, cotton candy, absolutely. Me too, I like cotton candy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> nice to see you, Nico. Love in Tampa. Always love beautiful Tampa. And if you haven't seen all of my videos, I want you to use the binge link. The binge link is the easiest way to see all the Dr. Lori content. Get all the information that I'm giving you so you can sell for top dollar, collect good pieces, and downsize smart. I'm helping all of you downsize too because many of you are saying, I don't know what to do with this stuff, Dr. Lori. How do I turn it into cash? I'll show you how when you have to downsize. It's at the binge link, and of course, it's at drlorev.com. So go right there. The binge link's at our specials and shop page. It's easy to find. I've got guests galore. They're showing me their objects. I see about 50,000 objects a year, and I appraise them for you right here. Hi, it's Dr. Lori. How are you? I'm well, thank you. How are you, nice. Dr. Lori? Whoops. I'm fine, sweetie. Where are you calling from? What's your first name? Jennifer from West Greenwich, Rhode Island. Hi, Jennifer. <laughs> I know where West Greenwich is. So it's oh, nice great. to see you. Yeah, I went to school in Providence for a little while. It was fun. Oh, lovely. Narragansett was more fun. We used to go to the beach a lot. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> Show me this piece. What do you want me to see? Okay. Uh, this is the Gazebo by Mel Hunter. All right. And nice. it, it's artist proof 18 out of 40 out of 300. 18 out of 40 out of 300. That yep. doesn't make sense. So is it 18 out of 300? Is it 40 out of 300? What is the, what, because if it's an artist proof, they may have only done a certain number of artist proofs. If it's an open edition, that would probably be the 300 number. Oh. So what does it say? 
It says AP 18 slash 40 slash 300. Okay. So this is what this means. So that 18, basically, it's number 18 of the artist proofs. There are 40 of the artist proofs. And then there's 300 in the open edition. What does that mean? See, the printmaking is very difficult with all of the, the actual little um, abbreviations, the letters, the numbers and stuff. I teach it to you at drlaurieV.com and also on my prints videos. So that's why I want you to use the binge link. That's why I want you to go to drlaurieV.com because in the research tab, there's all kinds of information about prints and you can learn this. That piece is a nice piece. It's in a good frame. It dates to the late 20th century, and it is a hand-colored lithograph value on the artist proof, about $250. How did you acquire it? That's great. Uh, an online auction, I paid 27. Wow, wonderful. In the frame, too. Don't forget the frames have value. Very, very nice. Why? It's a nice, pleasant scene. It's a well-known artist, and it's an artist proof. Artist proof can be marked, and here's what you look for, AP or EA. That's typically the way artist proofs are marked. If you see those letters next to the numbers, pick it up. Nice to see you. Thank you. Oh, funnel cakes or cotton candy? Cotton candy. Cotton candy. Okay. Thank <laughs> Good you to see much. you. Thank you very much. I keep forgetting about the question of the day. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm Dr. Lori. Lots of fun here with my guests. Everything's unscripted. I don't know what's coming, you know? So I haven't pre seen these preliminarily. I haven't seen them at all. They show up. We do this, of course, and we're taping this live. Here's my next guest. Hi, Dr. Lori. How are you? Goodwill for $5. That's pretty. You're in the Pacific Northwest, right? Yes, I'm in Washington. Okay. So this is nice. But, you know, figurines are a little bit harder to resell. Did you get it for yourself because you're going to hang on to it, or are you thinking of reselling it? Um, I was just hang, hang on to it. My daughter has um, a couple dolls and stuff, so I just okay. To so to look pretty in her room. Yeah. Is it marked in any way? It does. It says it's um, signed by it. Uh, it says 1982 Florence. Okay. It has a signature in the back, and then right. it's kind of signed. Oh. Uh, Put it back on the table, darling. There you back go. on the table. Put it back on the table. Lower it. There, you there go. we go. Okay. So let's see the whole object. Because all those plaques and such indicate that there's a manufacturer who's making a lot of these. Okay. okay. Lots and lots. How much did you pay? Five bucks. That's good. Value on it, about $30. Okay. Not bad. So yeah. dates of the 1980s. It's made of, of course, ceramic. It's a low quality ceramic. It's not high fired uh, porcelain. It's it's manufactured or painted sort of all together. There's a little bit of hand detailing on it. Not bad. For $5, you did okay. Thank you for sharing the channel. Tell me uh, your favorite fair food, funnel cakes or cotton candy? Funnel cake. Thank you, Joy. See ya. Joy's going to share the channel, as I hope you all will. I'm Dr. Lori, the PhD Antiques Appraiser. It's good to be with all of you. So my guests are here. We're looking at art, antiques, and collectibles. I'm going to teach you what to look for. I'm going to show you what you've got. Don't forget that, of course, appraisals are based on actual sales records, right? An appraisal is an identification, a correct identification, and a value. It's not just a value. It's not just an ID. It's both. And, of course, it's an opinion of an expert who has seen many, many objects. Me, I see about 50,000 objects a year. Hi, it's Dr. Lori. How are you? Did I surprise you? I saw your whole face change. <laughs> <laughs> yes. It, yeah, very sure. How are you doing? Can you hold your camera? There you go. That's a girl. So what's your name? Caroline. Hi, Caroline. Where are you calling from? New Hampshire. Nice, nice. I like the white brick, the white brick. Did you do that or was it like that when you bought the house? Um, yeah, it's, uh, we're very much in renovation mode. It's, um, that's our new air conditioning duct and heating duct. Oh. So it's, it's rough, rough living. <laughs> Well, that's okay. It looks like the fish tank is not bad, and, you, and you're and you not killing the plants. I kill all the plants. I yeah. saw the plants behind you. I haven't seen all the plants. Oh, my gosh, Caroline. Wow. <laughs> How about the plants? I know. So, oh, my gosh. That's wonderful. So you're doing reno, and you've and you got the plants are still not are still living? Maybe you need all that extra yeah. oxygen during the Someone reno. Someone dying. Someone never died. <laughs> <laughs> I've killed some of the plants, right? You know, the work guys come in. They're rough. Yeah. Oh, what have you got to show me, hon? So I have this old school camera. Okay. It, do you have a brand name and do you have a model? It says Beulu, B-E-A-U-L-I-E-U. -E -E okay. Four 
4008ZM2 made in France. Okay, that's great. So how did you acquire it and why do you have it? It's a little bit odd. I didn't expect you to show me a movie camera. <laughs> uh, it came for free, um, so I paid no dollars for it. Zero. It came from my house that they were throwing everything out and we thought it was cool, so. So are you gonna like put it on a shelf in your new den or something or you think nope. you're gonna resell it? Resell it somewhere. You're gonna resell yeah, it for about $75, Okay. right, because a lot of pieces that are vintage, of course, cameras and, of course, uh, film equipment. You know, I've worked with a lot of filmmakers. Right now, actually, I'm working with a filmmaker, very well-known, multi-award winning filmmaker uh, on some topics that I'm an expert in. But interestingly enough, those kinds of cameras are oftentimes collectible. Some people have, uh, now, do you know if it works? Have you been able to see whether or not it works or no? I think it works, yeah. Okay. Usually they do work, I have to yeah. say. Um, so I would say about that much, $75 on the retail market, and uh, I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> it's a kind of an unusual one, but a cool thing. Yeah, um, cotton candy or funnel cakes for your fair food? Um, cotton candy. I've acquired a gluten allergy. Oh, okay. So. Okay. Well, cotton candy is always fun. I like the different colors, too. The blue, the pink. It's fun. Yeah. I'm a purist. I like pink cotton candy, but, yeah. you know. The blue is kind of pretty, too. All right, well, get out your watering can. Don't kill any more plants. Nice to meet you. Yeah, you as well. Bye-bye. See you. Yeah, that was fun, unusual. So a lot of things when you're looking for what to look for when it comes to cameras, look for the cameras that are important uh, makers, like the Edwin Land camera. They'll say it's a land camera. That's one of the things a lot of people should be looking for. Look for cameras that come from Germany. Look for the brand names like Agfa or Leica, uh, Nip, uh, of course, um, the Nikon cameras, that kind of thing. And of course, the old box cameras from Kodak, the brownies and such with the art deco designs are always a fun collectible and they resell pretty well too. Yeah, that's fun. Photography and the history of photography and tools of photography are nice collectibles. Hi, it's Dr. Lori. How are you? Hi, Dr. Lori. I'm fine. How are you? Hi, it's Judy, right? From outside of Philadelphia? That's correct. Nice to see you, Judy. Good so what have you her. got, hon? I have this. Look at that. That's nice. So that looks like applied elements like uh, jade and stones and a little bit of mother of pearl and some shells and some carnelian um, in an oval form in an Asian style frame dates to about the 1960s, 1970s. How did you acquire it? Um, I acquired it from my daughter. Okay. It's a 12 by 12 or a 16 it's, by 16? It's 10 by 10. 10 by 10. Okay, I was close. Um, so that's a nice piece. And it has a little piece of hardware on the top, which is also quite typical, right? I love it when you guys pick up the pen to write everything down. You could just replay the video. <laughs> that's true. That's true. <laughs> but it is good to take a note. I didn't mean that. So that's a nice piece. It doesn't look like it's acid burned. It doesn't look like any of those little elements have started to fall or move in the frame. Sometimes over time they do that. Could you tilt the piece, the top of the piece, toward the camera? There you go, just so everybody can, and turn, there it is. So everybody can see the two ducks, of course, one's of course male and female. It's got a chop mark, and it looks that very nice sort of abstract nature of the Asian um, collage pieces. How did, you got it from your daughter, was it a gift? I think it was a gift to her, she didn't want it anymore. Okay, value on it, about $60, and it dates, of course, to the mid 20th century. Thank you. You're welcome. Funnel cakes or cotton candy, Judy? Actually, neither. <laughs> yeah, you're not, a, you're not a fair girl. When you go to the fair, you're not eating? Nah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Good to see you. Thanks. Yeah, so I'm telling you, of course, appraisals of certain things. And what should you look for? Asian pieces are always very, very collectible and of interest, particularly Asian ceramics like blue white porcelain uh, of course Asian kimonos have made a big comeback a lot of people are looking for those um, large silks as well as well as paintings on silk uh, scroll paintings in the Asian style too pretty popular so that's wonderful I like a Japanese woodblock print you can't go wrong with one of those Dr. Yeah, Lori here's my next guest hi 
Hey, Dr. Lori, speaking of woodblock prints, there's one right behind me. I, well, that's I nice. Hey, let me see, let me see that shoulder. Let's see that shoulder of yours with that, which, with that tattoo. I don't know. You picked yeah. the one. Oh, that's pretty. Now, yeah. those, it got to hurt. That's got to just hurt, right? Yeah, they do. It, yeah, but they do. It's my but, therapy. It's cheaper than a therapist. You know, a lot of people say that, that they do that, and they it's, it's very, very help, helpful to them. Calming and important, spiritual. So nice. Remind yeah. me of your first name. Marianne. Marianne, you're in, in Alabama, Alabama, and you have offered me chocolate before. <laughs> chocolate gravy, yes, ma'am. <laughs> That's right. Marianne, nice to see you, sweetie. What have you, you got? Too. All right. I'm going to kind of turn it around. I found okay. this. Oh, you're like me. You got all your purple dresses hanging up there. I love purple. <laughs> purple is my favorite color. Favorite okay. color. Okay, you got to back up so we can see it. Walk back toward the dresses. Keep going. You tell me when to go. Yeah, keep going. I still can't see it. Hold it up higher. All right. Wow, it's big. It Long is. and thin. Right. The, stop right there. Right there is all good. Right. All right. She's very, very nicely done. There's a, obviously a temple behind her. She's in traditional clothing. When I was in Japan, oh my gosh, gorgeous, gorgeous stores full of all of those kimonos, beautiful text, oh, wow. beautiful textural textiles, gorgeous. So I that's the tra that. that's the traditional, of course, um, outfit costume. If it's outfit, it's not really a costume. That's nice. How'd you acquire it? Um, I got it at it was at a consignment store. Okay. And when I went in, I saw it, then I've listened to you, and I saw nails, and it was really dark, you know, mm -hmm. back here. Right. And, right. and I was like, okay, I'm getting it. It was $10. I, yeah. Wow. With me, but like I said, put it up to the camera so I can show everybody the nails. No, the back, the back, the back, the back, the back. Okay. <laughs> up closer. You see those nails? Look at the measurement in between the nail. It's almost perfect. So that artisan is working to make sure that it's perfectly two inches or three inches in between each one. That's a really nice piece. The darkness of the canvas, you can see it's been prepared. It probably dates to the 1920s to the 1930s. So this is just, this is, yeah, this is about 30 years, 40 years after the Edo period, which is the period when that costume would have been, of course, utilized and in vogue in Tokyo, Japan. Beautiful piece. For ten dollars, you have a piece that's worth three hundred and fifty to four hundred dollars retail. Oh, okay. Beautiful, and of course, the elongated uh, vertical is very typical of the Japanese style. I think that's gorgeous. I was afraid it was like uh, what a uh, triptych, isn't that what you call a set of three? But then I saw where it was he had painted yeah, like no. both sides of it. So I thought, well, I guess not. I guess it hangs by itself. It, it, it can hang by itself, certainly. Very, very nice. I like that a lot. So tell me your favorite fair food. Um, and, and no great, no chocolate gravy on this now, Mary. <laughs> funnel cake or cotton candy? Uh, I'm going to have to go with funnel cake. Okay. I love, okay. I love, funnel, I love cotton candy, too. That's a hard one. but Funnel, funnel cakes, cakes it is. Okay. Good to see you. All right, you too. Thank you, Dr. Lori. My pleasure, darling. My pleasure. Great objects. Thanks for being with me. I'll see you next time.